Alright, this is going to be the real part 17, hopefully, as long as my computer cooperates. I know I said that in the last video, but my computer screwed up, so I had to stitch some videos together, and here we are now. Anyway, uh, we are going to work on the Emperor Arcana, so I think I have a text. There we go. Oh, all right. Eh? All right. Just come on. Ugh. This game has entirely too many pop-up boxes. Indeed. All right. Yusuke says, in addition to the exhibition aspect of the show, there is also an evaluation portion. I believe my piece truly stands out among the sea of art here. Yet nobody has come to see it. Perhaps they're afraid of the truth held within, but they dare not take a closer look. A middle-aged lady says, what is this supposed to be? There's a dark, sinister aura emanating from it. The man says, the title is Desire. I don't see any desire here. Ah, I understand now. This area is for students. The artist likely decided to paint this on a whim. Indeed, there's neither elegance nor emotion in this piece. Come, dear, there are much more detailed paintings over here. Use case says, there's no need to worry, I'm not bothered. <clears throat> They're nothing more... Oh, that was nothing more than the drivel of unrefined commoners. I needn't pay any mind to them. As long as those who are in the know understand my work, I'll be happy. An older guy walks up and he says, look, a knowledgeable person has arrived. Use case says, I'd like your opinion, sir. What are your thoughts on this piece? The man says, I can see quite clearly why it was accepted into the exhibition. The technique is excellent. However, the composition as a whole is mediocre. What did you say? Yusuke says, how dare you? The gentleman says, are you the artist? The title is listed as Desire, but that idea is quite overused. Some may even call it stale. If you want to paint an abstract work with such an old theme, you must inject individuality into it. He says, take another look. Try to remove yourself from the artist bias. These brush strokes are splendid given your age, but does this painting really tell you anything? It's empty. It's devoid of meaning. I suggest you take a more critical eye to your work in the future if you truly want to progress as an artist. Yusuke says, my work is empty. Wowza. Some pretty harsh feedback. Let's see... I just say, don't let it bother you. He says, indeed. Why? Use case says, I put my heart and soul into this piece, and I feel like I captured the essence of desire. It was supposed to lay bare the reality of the world. He says, perhaps he was right, it may be empty after all. These colors and brush strokes don't convey the true meaning of desire, only my conception of it. I haven't captured desire, desire captured me. How could this be? He says, how could I have fooled myself into believing otherwise? It is as though I have been forsaken by the gods of art. This grave mistake shall be the end for me. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, I just say, this is just the beginning. Use case says, don't patronize me, I have no future in this field. What's going to happen to me now? Without art, what will remain of my being? I say, this isn't like you. Agreed. He says, you're correct. Surrendering myself to fate after only one failure would be very much unlike me. Still, being criticized by someone with such a keen eye is painful. But... That is all the more reason I must break out of my slump. I have to prove my ability to him. I say, how exactly? He says, I'll start by painting. After that, I will paint beyond which I shall paint even more. That's the only way I can learn to capture the essence of emotion. After all, you can only accomplish so much in using logic to analyze the contents of the heart. 
I hope you allow me to continue my skill card services as well. I shall conquer this. Anyways, use K has leveled up. Well, our relationship with him has. Let us return home. The old gentleman says a slump, huh? Yusuke says, Bunny, I apologize for causing a scene earlier. That one gentleman's critique made me fully realize what I've been lacking. Now my path is clear. I will simply keep on drawing. I'm going to have ten pieces finished and up by the end of the day. I just say, that's the spirit. He says, if anything, I should be doing more. I'll do anything to escape this slump. With your support, I was able to pick myself up rather quickly. I hope this doesn't discourage you from joining me again. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. We'll meet again soon. Ah, you're back. Hey, inmate. Uh, the twins are letting us know that they have a special assignment ready. Hey. The cat wants me to go hang out with the shogi player. But we'll see what happens. What is this? Held to inform the public. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna check out Fortune Arcana and get that started, because I know this thing has like so many requisites. It's really easy to like start this too late and never be able to finish it. It's a pain. Move that back over there. No, not you. There we go. Where you at, lady? Hard to find. Oh, I'm dumb. There's like a big blue freaking thing on the screen. Like, doy. Alright, so. And the fortune teller says, have a seat. Hello. She says, hello. This is your first time here. It's not often I get young men stopping by. Anyway, my name is Chiaha Mifune. I'll be reading your fortune. <laughs> You can begin by telling me your name. I tell her my name. She says, ah, I see, your name is quite lucky. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? I just say, uh, give me the full package. She says, I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult after all. Now then, let's start with an initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Here we go. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune says your first card is, as for the second, <clears throat> she says, I've seen everything, a stream of light obscuring the sun, like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. There seems to be new wealth in your future. Your financial fortune is looking good today. The wealth of which I speak will come from your house. Head home without detour and precisely 5,000 yen will await you there. I just say, are you sure? She says, I can only speak of what I saw. Fate is absolute. Um. 
but what is this? How strange. The general flow of your future seems to indicate ruin and an inmate locked away in a lonely cell. You seem to be a good person, but you are perhaps mixed up with the wrong crowd. Beyond that, it seems continuing on your current path will lead to your death. <laughs> I just say, how can I avoid that? She says, I cannot offer advice to that end. That's impossible. If the divination is coming to me this clearly, the truth of it is undeniable. Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way that you can attempt to counteract your destiny. All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. With its power in your control, you can even avoid the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energy surrounding you. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. What do you say? As for the cost, it's 100,000 yen. Not bad for an item that can change your future, right? I just say, this seems suspicious. She says, it's legitimate, I promise. You really don't want it? What a shame. It will be to see the flames of youth snuffed out so soon. Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I really can help you if you'd like. It's annoying that that wastes time. So Jiro says, I've been waiting for you. Morgana says, he seems oddly happy. I wonder what's going on. So Jiro says, how's your pocket money situation been looking? He says, you're hopeless. He says, here. For real? Morgana says, this is 5k. So Jiro says, I won some money from the lotto, so I don't mind sharing the winnings. I just say, thanks. <laughs> he says, see, I can be nice sometimes. Anyway, make sure you close up shop like always. Hey. Morgana says, does this mean that fortune teller was right? I say, I think so. That's incredible. Morgana said she even got the amount right. Maybe Chiaha can seriously read the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't she say you're gonna die? We need to talk to her again and figure out what to do. Maybe I can have her read my compatibility fortune. No. <laughs> Never mind. Yay, we got money. We got a seat. All right, we're gonna finish Zora then. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey! Mm -hmm. We ranked up our kindness. All right. How fancy! We're gonna get some trivia, and I'm not even gonna bother with that mess. Those people are talking about fruit tea, and apparently it raises your charm. Anyways, the class president says, let's get going. When we run into her at school. This is it. Anyways, looks like we need to go to the library, the library, the library. Library, the bibliotech, whatever you what want to call like? it. Thank you. What would you like? All right, we're gonna get speed reader for obvious reasons, because it allows us to read an entire book in one sitting. All right, so we are supposed to talk to Makoto today. I think she's the Empress Arcana. Wherever the hell she hides. Maybe she's on the top floor. I 
Oh, there she is. Makoto says, All we can do is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Do you need something on the third floor? Did you study in the library? I just say I came to see you. She says, It seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? There's something I want to ask you if it doesn't get in the way of your studies. I say I can lend him here. She says, Thanks. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. Like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Really? I hope you're right. But I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? people talking about going to the arcade to be perfectly honest I've never been to one myself do you think you could take me I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se but simply studying won't get me anywhere thank goodness I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself well let's get going So, this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! <gasps> Oh, so this is how it is. Of course, that was just a game, but I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but... I'm sure I can be of use.
There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. By the way, you went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kaneshiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. You. Makoto says, thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been fun. I just say the red light district next. <laughs> she says, thanks, I feel a lot better with you helping me through this. I uh, didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. Alright then. <clears throat> Man. When I wake up, my sinuses are always like freaking blue ah, shut. The joy of allergies and asthma. Alright, what are we doing next? Drugs. All the drugs. Just kidding. We're gonna do. Let's see. Temperance. Oh! Mm. Looks like Kawakami was admitted to the hospital, likely for overworking Jeez. herself. She says, I'm a little overworked, no need to make a big deal about it, but thanks for coming on this way to visit me. How could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? A man says, there you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Kawakami says, Takase-san, you contacted the school? The man says you weren't answering your phone, and when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. The woman says, Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse, but our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. Kawakami says, I'm sorry. She says, these are Takase-kun's guardians, the one I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. The man says, who's this? Uh, Kawakami says, he's one of my students. He came to visit me. The man says, messing around with another student, huh? You never learn, do you? And after all you did to him. Kawakami says, I'm sorry. The woman says, when can you transfer the money? Kawakami says, I should be able to get it out tomorrow. Yeesh. These people are scared. Gum. Anyways, I just say don't pay them. <laughs> the relative says, Stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son died because of this woman. She should have been fired. Uh. Kawakami says, That's not. The man says, And yet she still doesn't know her place and still continues to teach. We're going to need you to show some remorse for what you did, in a material and undeniable way. Kawakami says, I understand, I'll pay. The female relative says, it's not like we're trying to extort you, but who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time job overwhelmed him, which led to that accident. It's almost like he was murdered. The other one says, so you no longer feel a regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher will be over. We look forward to receiving the payment. <sighs> skeezy, skeezy motherfuckers. 
Kawakami says, I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Um, let's see here. I just say, think this through more. She says, I can't believe I'm getting scolded by a student. Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying. The money, I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to. Meow. <laughs> She says, I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. If his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. I just say, that's the wrong choice. She says, sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm gonna get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit, it made me happy. And we are rank 7 now. Kawakami says, I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry, the IVs work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Then she says, get home safe. Hi everyone! Oh god, I hate that lady's voice. Well... Looks like Kawakami has interrupted our... <laughs> our student life again. What's going on? So, we're gonna read a book. What do you wanna do? Let's see... We're gonna read speed reading. So that we can read books even faster. Illusory Popes. Hmm. Alrighty, let's see here. We're gonna hang out with Makoto. Which, I think she's on this floor. I actually need to make sure I have the right amount of personas for some stuff coming up here. So bear with me a sec. What do I need? I need Chariot and Temperance. Uh, I have Chariot, I have Temperance. Okay, so never mind. So let's get up to school. Makoto again. Let's see. All right then. And this time we're going to the red light district to spy on our classmates. Mm. Makoto says, there are so many people here, I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. Uh, let's see. Let's pull that up again. I just say you're very well informed. Yes. She says, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras play a substantial role in that, but it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. <sighs> Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. Hmm. 
Makoto says, did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. I guess a bunch of dudes were hitting on her. She says, he must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to talk. No, all I wanted was to ask if any Su Shujin students worked there. But he nearly dragged me inside. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I... Dot, dot, dot. I just say, that was dangerous. Yes. She says, for him, maybe. I thought I was going to have to knock him out. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. I guess that's how they do it. I learned something new today. Thank you very much. Thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope we can do the same for you someday. La papesse right. has increased. Hmm. Makoto says, that aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students, though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then... She says, hmm... Makoto says that was... Well, I used to be in the same class as her. Why is she here? The after-school salon. I just say, what kind of place is that? She says, I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. I'd like you to be there too as my witness. Would that be okay? Well, we've spent a lot of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then. Thanks for today. Makoto says, I wanted to thank you for tagging along. That was the first time I had a deal with a Barker. I didn't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Let's see. I just say, couldn't agree more. She says, I realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took what happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. It'd be great if you could help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Ah, you're back. Alrighty. So we're gonna hang out with... The Fortune Arcana, which still hasn't started, of course. Because we have to give her a shitload of money for no reason, which really sucks, but hey. Let's see. She says, you're rabbit son from the other day. I, re I remember you. You have a very abnormal destiny. Please take a seat. <laughs> she says, you want to purchase the Holy Stone? Uh, for just 100k, you can change your fate. And I just say I'll buy one. She says, thanks, here you go. Mm -hmm. She says, it's the smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with a happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with Moonlight every three days. Stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Goodbye. Lame. Ah, you're back. So Jiro says I was just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. I guess you start forgetting things the older you get. Morgana says last time we went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. Should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid a hundred thousand yen for this. Ah, what the heck? Morgana says, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? It can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the bag. Wait, I have a, feel a bad feeling about this. Hey. So Jiro says, do you mind looking over the shop? For real? Morgana says, the stone shattered. So Jiro says, what's gotten into you? Whoa. Morgana says, this tastes salty. The holy stone was just salt. Mm -hmm. So Jiro says, what's going on? I just say, I'm just a bit salty. He says, you're salty? That reminds me, I was about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. 
I'll be back in a bit. Morgana says, I think this is rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. In that case, the holy stone is supposed to maybe help you get better at cooking? <laughs> oh boy. I'll just say the fortune teller tricked us. Morgana says, what? You're saying she scammed us? We could have bought loads of fatty tuna. It, it ended up being phony, huh? Her name was Chiaha, right? But clearly had some... She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is unacceptable. We're gonna complain to her. Oh boy. Anyways, we get texted at night by Ryuji. Um, let's see, Meower... We're gonna hang out with Skull tomorrow. Ryuji says, I was thinking about the future with you as the leader and me as your right-hand man. Doesn't meeting in a place like this look like we're talking some shady business? I like it. Uh, let's see. I say, you think so? He says, you have no energy as usual. Can't you play along? I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. Like, I'm usually a boring high school student, but when I take my glasses off, right? Come on. He says, the fish ain't biting, the float hasn't moved at all. If only there was a master fisher around, then we could steal their ideas. Whoa. Ryuji says, that's Kawakami, what's she doing here? She's coming this way. Jeez. Kawakami says, two boys at the fishing pond on a Sunday. Why are you sitting around like old men? Why don't you do something exciting? Ryuji says, look who's talking. Kawakami says, adults need time to themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. You'll understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. Ryuji says, wow, sounding real old there, Kawakami. She says, that's Ms. Kawakami to you. For real? Ryuji says, holy crap, Kawakami could be our master fisher, bunny. She's hooking fish like crazy. Kawakami says, it's easy, you just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. Ryuji says, so the trick is not to think. How am I supposed to do that? I say, let go of all your worldly desires. He says, I see. If I tell myself I don't want any fish, no, that won't work. I'm asking for tips because I want to get fish. <sighs> Kawakami says, it's a nice sunny Sunday. I didn't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. Two troublemakers and they're no good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa. Ryuji says, she keeps getting fish even as she nags. I'm impressed. <laughs> I say, call her Master Kawakami. <laughs> they both think it's hilarious. Wanna head back? Ryuji says, didn't think I'd see something like that today. Guess we'll head back. We'll head back for a snack and smoke some crack. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Anyways, the home shopping thingy's on. And the Sun Arcana wants to hang out. Let's see, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, Alright, so we are gonna run over to the underground walkway and get our point boosting drink really quick here. Anyways, Morgana says, you need to get pumped up and tell yourself it's for your health. Nice. Alright, Morgana says, now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere else. Oh, sorry, cat. Let's see, where are we going now? We're gonna go hang out with the shoji person at the church. 
can check something really quick here. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, here we go. Anyway, the shogi playing student says, I'm Hifumi Togo. Let's pull up her thing. I think she's the star. I say, playing shogi at a church? She says, strange, I did receive approval to do so though. <sighs> Experimenting with new tactics is best to do alone in a place like this. I suppose that doesn't sound plausible to someone who doesn't play. Don't mind me, go ahead and pray. Uh, we ask her to hang out. Yes? I just say, can you teach me shogi? Huh? Um, she says, you, you don't, don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Sorry, I just can't. Well then, um, so, you like Shogi? Like me? You're a bit strange, but thank you. Um, okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. I'll start. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate no matter how you look at it. Please concede. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Well then. That will be all for today. If it's all right with you, may I request another match sometime? I feel a gambler's spirit emanating from you, which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner, so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? Thank you very much. Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Okay, let's end here for today. Thank you for today. Hey Fumi says, before you leave, will you exchange chat ID with me? <coughs> I just say, lucky me. Oh. <coughs> she 
she says it went through. I'll let you know if I come up with new strategies. Morgana says, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't we read something? Wow, I have so many books. Let's see. social thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that increased our intelligence. How sweet. This is it. screw around with my personas to get everything in order, so I might just screw around in there for a sec. That's if I can. I might... Hey, inmate. Uh, we'll see what happens. I might have to save and screw around a little bit in here. Really quick, I should. Finished for Majesty. You handled it. Registration? You'd like to register this? Time for some rehabilitation. You wish to perform an exit? Let us begin the search. Bonzu is in lockdown. Oh, okay. I gotta take him out then. Finished for now. Um... Your turn, Caroline. You wanna release it? Looks even stronger now. You wanna let it out? Anyways, it learned to evade a nuke. So now we have to register Just again. Me. Registration? You'd like to register this? I was wanting that thing to be level 28. Oh well, I'll just have to get another one, I guess. Pretty tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. They will receive a fraction of time. Then let us begin. I 
want to waste my money. You change your mind? Are you finished? What? Let me figure out what I need really fast here. Ryuji is chariot. I know I have that. On is lovers. I don't need magician because that levels up no matter what. I need emperor for Yusuke. And I need priestess for Makoto. I think those are all my people. Let me check really fast. Um. We got Ryuji on Yusuke Makoto. Okay, so I was right. So let's see. I have a chariot. But do I have lovers, emperor, and priestess? Nope. So I need to make lovers, emperors. I need to make two slots. So we can either itemize some stuff. Time for some they will be reborn anew. It appears it will become it appears it will become something protective. I don't want to get rid of that because that's one of the ones I need. That doesn't seem Looks like it'll become a weapon. So, oh, this is what it will be. This may prove somewhat extreme. Mm. I don't know, it that's fine as well. So, this is what it will be. Into a new form. So I have chariot. I need lovers, emperor, and priestess. A fee is required. This is your power. You will draw this. This is your power. You will draw this. Then accept this persona. Done already. What? Let's just make sure I didn't screw up and get rid of chariot. Lovers, priestess, and Okay. No slacking off. The reason we're doing that is because we have to play billiards, and if you don't have the persona of the people on your team, then you don't get all the bonus points, and then you have to spend more time, obviously, like hanging out with them and getting nothing. So, let's see. Where is this place? I think it's Kiki Joji. Yeah, we're gonna go here. to play a couple times, but we'll see what happens. You 
can do this. Give it a go. I got this. Real? Whoa. All right, I got this. Real? So 
I need... What do we need? Damn it. Time well spent. That should do it for now. <coughs> See you later. Yeah, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. We're just gonna move on with our life. Ah, you're back. <coughs> Anyways, they're speculating about whether or not Kanashira will have a change of heart and whether or not he got rid of the photos and bloody bloody blue. I think we are on our way to hang out with the Fortune Arcana again. Let's see. Which we're not really hanging out with her, we're just gonna get the Mementos mission. Chiaha says, How are you healing? The woman says, I'm fine, it's my fault anyway. You, ha, huh, said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I make him so mad. Chia, ha, huh, says, I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse. The woman says, I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Is there any other way? No. Chia, ha, huh, says, let's ask the tarot. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. She says, I've seen everything. I sense a dark presence within the boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. It might hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it'll bring great misery. The woman says, what kind of misery? Chiaha says, you'll be hospitalized for severe injuries, suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he'll be arrested. She says, hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let you uh, throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't waste my money on a dumb rock, that I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one. What? Chiaha says, you want another? The woman says, my next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment. You said I need to, I can pay in up to 36 installments, right? She says, truthfully, breaking up with him is the best. She says, I can't abandon him. For real? Morgana says, she thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive if she has that stone. There's no way that could be true. I say, that thing was a fake, remember? Mm. Morgana says, right. It would make our job way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Chiaha has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Bunny, why don't we change this guy's heart ourselves? If he's hurting this woman, it's the perfect chance for the phantom thieves to intervene. Mm. Chiaha says, meowing. And then she says, hey, were you eavesdropping? That's an invasion of privacy. I just say there's another solution. Chiaha says there is not. The thing is you see, some fates are inescapable. The demon cannot be exercised by normal human methodology. Fate is absolute. Although I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. The woman says, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach the problem? I say, what's your boyfriend's name? Uh, Yuya Uchimura. Why do you want to know? Chiaha says, yeah, what do you expect to change with meager information? I say, I'm going to change fate. She says, you honestly believe you can do something? The woman says, I trust you. Chiaha says, excuse me? The woman says, it feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in this boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. Chiaha says, what? She says, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations, the divine power will rain punishment on you. You look so pleased with yourself, she says. I've seen everything, a vision of you groveling on the ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I'll prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she'll meet a horrible injury within a year's time. 
If you honestly think you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with a holy stone. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. This humidity is overwhelming. Use case says, good morning, it's quite hot today. By the way, Kanashiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. I say it's gonna get busy. True. Anyways. It's the same, like, random banter they put in for every intermediary thing when you finish the, the dungeon early. Hey. Anyways. I think I'm missing a book, so I'm gonna look for that right now. What can I get you? They have a bookstore too. Or was it the other place? No, it's not here. It's Shinjuku in the red light district, I'm pretty sure. Eh, whatever. Thankfully, it's not too expensive to make minor mistakes. There we go. Anyways, what are we doing next? Alright, we need to go here. And we're going to work on Priestess 3. Alright, we're going to hang out with Thank Koto. Makoto says, Aiko Takao-san, you've been spending time in the red light district, haven't you? Myself and Bunny saw you. Based on where you were heading, we assume you're working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it? She says, what do you mean? It's a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume, but that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. <sighs> Makoto says, you're, certain, you're sure nothing strange is going on? Aiko says, yeah, the worst I get is weird guys looking at me. Makoto says, I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? She says, fine. I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Makoto says, I see. Aiko says, but they'd totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money, plus the guys who come in pamper me. <sighs> she says, pamper? Aiko says, it's nice having people treat you like you're special. I'm sure an honor student like you gets that all the time, though. Anyways, are you going to tell on me? You even brought a witness. Hold up, doesn't that mean you two are in Shinjuku? What's with, what's up with that, Miss President? Uh, I'd just say you have the wrong idea. Yes. She says it was nothing more than an errand. <clears throat> At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Aiko says, I get it, so we protect each other's secrets. I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Ms. Prez. Well, she says, I told you, that's not how it is. I was just worried that you were getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him for support. She says, whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a Buchimuru-kun pencil case? Mm -hmm. She says, oh, you know about it? Uh, Aiko says, I had tons of stuff like that when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Why is it so beat up? She says, it was given to me when I was in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling that kind of merchandise. 
Aiko says, that is too hilarious. The student council has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has done a complete 360. She says, isn't that a full circle? She says, I don't know, I'm just surprised. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get to know you better. Uh, hey, why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about uh, your pencil case and your boyfriend. She says, okay. Wait, he's not my boyfriend. Aiko says, and saved. I gotta work. She says, oh crap, it's this late already? I gotta go to work. Uh, I'll send you tons of pics of my collection. Bye! <sighs> Makoto says she was all over the place. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. Uh, I just say, you can change. <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> yes. She says, that's why you're helping me. You know, I believe what Takao-san said about me is how others think of me as well. I thought I changed after the incident with Kanashiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct for myself. I'm gonna try looking at things a little differently from now on. I think that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna show you how useful an honor student can really be. And we leveled up. Lapapas. All right. Makoto says I'd be interested to speak with her some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconceptions about you. As always, I'll let you know if anything happens. I'll see you later. Makoto says, thanks for sitting in with me today, it helped a lot. I got a message from her earlier, and it turns out she's quite a fan of Uchimaru-kun. It was crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. I said, sounds like you get along well. She says, I guess you're right. I didn't expect to bond over something like this, though I'm pretty shocked. I'm a little worried about how the store work. Eh, I'm still a little worried about the store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Ah, you're back. Alright, so we are now gonna start the Hanged Man questline. Which... Where am I going right now? Airsoft store. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna talk about the bag. Come on. Hmm, I thought I was guts level four. Apparently not. Uh, let's see. That's weird. Now, the guide says I only need to be level 3, which I am level 3, but apparently I need to be level 4. So, oh well. What else can we do? Can we do death? Let's see, because death increases guts, so... <sighs> so she's Ginger. not willing to do a clinical trial today. So... The only other thing I can think of... Uh, let me see... I'll just save really quick and see if I have a movie that increases guts. Or a book. Hey. And 
Innocent. Kindness. Charm. Knowledge. There we go. Guts. Yeah. Make sure you close up. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna read for now. says, let's begin class. We'll start with a summary of the previous lesson. Well... And he is tricked into... What's going over there. Let's see. What do you want to do? Let's... I wonder if there's anything else that'll work with guts. Efficiency, knowledge, charm. Knowledgeable about internet crimes. Oh, okay. So knowledge would be knowledge. Um. Actually, let's just. Yeah, whatever. What? <laughs> I'm gonna try something else since obviously that's not gonna work for me for right now. Since I can read it, I might as well read the book that does up the guts. Uh Checks this place in a while either. Sometimes there's like new stuff in there. How can I help you? There we go. All right, so I think that movie theater is still closed, but it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Maybe I have a movie that'll increase guts. I don't know. We'll see what happens. is gonna increase guts, so there we go. Then we'll read the book in class. <sighs> what the hell is this? How the hell are the dead running about? Have you been beaten? What next? This is why I hate rainy season.
Mm. Let's run over to the burger place. See if this helps any. So that got us back on track. So let's see if now we can hang out with the airsoft shop guy. Doesn't look like it. Basically, Awai says he gave us such a realistic model that he was afraid he was going to get in trouble with the police, and he says, I have you on security camera, so you're my accomplice now, so don't go snitching. Anyways, let's see here. I need... I don't want to go on mementos until I get temperance up one more level, so like I'm kind of like scrambling here. Um... What is he? He's the hanged man. Where are you hiding, Mr. Hanged Man? <clears throat> well, the only thing that matters is the follow-up. Alright, I'll just say I want to see more. Hey. The fuck? He says, wanna talk in the back? My fucking day trading software just popped at me. Who the hell are you? I just say I'm a gun customization guru. Huh. Says you you're sure, sure about that? that? You look like a beginner to me. Hmm. Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> you're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> May actually make you more useful if you are. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu. With good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this, got it? Just follow my orders. Now what's it gonna be? That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. 
Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Hanged Man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Hey. Anyways, UI says, there's my contact info. If I text you, it's because I need help. Uh, just so you know, if you ever get caught, I never met you. If you want something, you're going to have to work for it. I say, so what's my first job? <laughs> he says, take it easy there, cowboy. Uh, I'll send a message when everything's ready. Later. Hope I can count on you. See you later, part-timer. <clears throat> morning. Blah, blah, blah. Today is the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll put up bamboo decorations and write my wish on a piece of paper though. I'm not feeling it this year. But there's a traditional food associated with Tanabata, just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, it's just more bullshit trivia. Let's see. Kasumi says, sorry for dragging you out here, I need to get a pair of glasses. I've been wanting to come here for a while, but I didn't have the chance until now. I just say, you're looking to buy? She says, yeah, I want to get my dad a present. You seem like a real glasses buff, so I wanted your advice. Could you try on a few pairs for me? Thank you so much. She says, thanks, how about this one? I think that's good. She says, those look pretty cool, what do you think? I say, a pretty modern look. She says it's fashionable and it's good that it'll help your vision too. This could be a good one. Uh, let's see. I say, do they suit your dad though? She says, maybe too hip for him. Your input's been helpful so far. Would you mind helping me a little bit longer? Um, I just say, of course. I'm counting on you. She says, let's pick up the pace. You look like a salesman, but it doesn't feel right somehow. Wow. 
<laughs> These ones leave an impression. People might remember the glasses and nothing else about you. I knew it! You're a star out of Hollywood, but if my dad wore them, he might look shady. This is Why are those even here? I kinda want a pair. She says, I can't decide. A lot of them are good, but none of them have really clinched it for me yet. Um, let's see. I just say, trust your instincts. She says, you're right. I'm the one that has to make the call. I'm gonna go with my gut feeling and pick this one. I don't know how to describe it. It seems like it's perfect for him. I just say, good choice. Then it's set. She says, I can be confident then. I know he'll like it. Thank you for bringing me here. She says, I ended up with a great president all, uh, president. I ended up with a great present all thanks to you. I say, it's all part of the deal. She says, I'll have to make it worth your time. Let's go practice after this. Well. If I'm being honest, trying to pick out glasses was really setting off my anxiety. All I could think of was what would happen if I chose incorrectly. I already failed in gymnastics and my cooking isn't turning out too well. I'm cracking under the pressure so many times I figured this would ruin everything again. The more I thought about it, the more empty I felt, like I wasn't even me anymore. I just say everyone deals with that. She says, even you know how it feels? It's not just me? Senpai? I think I'm starting to understand what my coach was telling me. It's easy to say you're in a slump and write yourself off. Also, maybe finding out who I really am is also about finding new depths to myself. It does make me feel a little down, but at the same time, I feel like I'm closer to getting my confidence back. And having your support makes me even more determined to make that happen. I just say, good luck. Oh no, I say, well, we're good at it together. She says, this is strange. I don't know if I should be feeling like this. I want to give my best performance. It's like I'd be doing it for you as much as myself or something like that. I'll still... I'm still working on myself, but I hope we can keep helping each other too. Anyways. Oh, that's kind of cool. We can ambush from a distance by using the grappling hook now. Kasumi says, we should get to training. All right. Anyways, our stamina increase. I'll be heading home now. Uh, she calls us on the way back. She said, I gave him the glasses and it suits him very well. He's happy with them. I say, I'm glad to hear that. She says, thanks, this makes me feel a little more confident, and I feel like my gymnastics are going to go even better now. I'm sick of wasting my time worrying. Whatever I'm up against, I'm just going to give it my best shot. She says, actions speak louder than words though, right? I'll prove I'm not all talk. I better go, I hope we can talk again later. To do what to do. Let's do this crossword. Hey, hey. Alrighty. Oh boy, it's making me move shit around. Let's 
see here. That's the Devil Arcana. Looks like I can do Devil or Hierophant. Our bond isn't going to move forward. And I don't want to screw with my personas right now. So, what else can we do? Let me see my stats really quick. Looks like charm and kindness are going to be the ones that would make sense to work on. Let's see if the movie has anything good. Get rid of that book and get the other one. What would you like? Thank you. What would you like? Well, that's the last one, so Here. we're gonna get that. Hmm. Alright. What else? What else? <coughs> Let's do. I swear I'm blonde right now. I haven't looked at this thing like three times. Oh boy. Um says, looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepes today. I have the worst luck. She says, oh, an email. It's from the agency. I wonder what they want. Huh? Mika at Skytree? Where's that? Um. She says, they want me to head over to a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, the men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity, but apparently she asked for me specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. I wonder why. I say, maybe she admires you. She says, huh? So you think what she said earlier was the truth? Hold on, why would you trick someone you admire, though? Well, I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head over. Have you been to Skytree before? How do you get there? She says, can you come with me? Uh, I already decided. You're going. Come on. All right. <sighs> 
Um, says, all right, we made it. Where's Mika? Mika says, so you came for my special. Um, says, you asked me, right? Wow, I barely recognize you. Did you lose weight or maybe change your makeup? Mika says, the theme for today's shoot is elegance of woman. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. Um, says, what do you mean? Mika says, controlling how you eat, how you move. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat, make sure you check the nutritional and caloric content. I even hired a personal trainer to make to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Wow. Um says, that's amazing. Does that mean you get to eat double chocolate crepes? <laughs> she says, of course I don't. I'd get fat from just one bite. Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga. Day after day, how many squats do you think I do in a week? A natural beauty like you could never understand how much work I put into my modeling. <laughs> An says, you know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented like that. Mika says, sorry, did I say natural beauty? I meant natural airhead. What did you say? An says, who are you calling an airhead? Mika says, An st senpai, stop it, you're scaring me. The cameraman says, Mika, are you okay? Man, cat fights are scary. And the cameraman says, this way, Mika, that's perfect. That's exactly the expression I'm going for. Tom says, I see, this is a test. Well, I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> the cameraman says, um, could you try being sexier? Mika says, you mean like this? The cameraman says, that's beautiful. Tom says, Mika, why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. Mika says, you should have known that was a lie, but I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? The cameraman says, you're amazing, Mika-chan. Mika says, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please. The owner even invited me to dinner. Working with all you makes me so happy. Um... Han says, I'm heading home. She says, why did Mika ask for me? Um, I just say, because you're a natural beauty. She says, is that why she was mad? So the real reason she requested me was so she could be mean. If that's the case, I deserve everything she did. I just say, cheer up. She says, I'm so mad. Mika had to work super hard every day to get to where she is. And she didn't rely on connections like I did. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're a different level than mine. Mika is amazing, she's strong, but me? I'm nothing. Just thinking about that makes me so angry I feel like I could explode. This whole time I've just been pretending to model, it was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear and casts a stunning magic on them. A real model is flexible, strong, and beautiful. I've had enough pretending. I'm gonna try for real. I say, go get him, tiger. She says, right, I'll give it my all. I'm gonna take the world by storm. Just you watch. Anyway, our confident is now level seven. Uh, bye. She says she's gonna go work out. Anyways, we get home and she calls us. She says, I'll say it again, I'm taking the world by storm and I don't care what I have to do to get there. If that means dieting, cutting back on food, and working out, then I'll have to do it. I just say, you got this. She says, I'm so sick of feeling how I did today. This is a first for me, feeling this mad. Usually if I have a bad day, I just eat some snacks, watch TV, and sleep it off. But this time it's different. I want to change. Tomorrow, I want to be better than I am today. Gotta start my stretching session. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ah, you're back. Uh, Ryuji says the deadline's tomorrow, are we gonna be okay? Yeah, blah blah blah. You don't know what's gonna happen until it happens. That's how life works. Alrighty. Oh, 
Alright, so we're gonna hang with Kawakami. I'll head over right now. Hey, hey. Oh, actually, yeah, that's fine. She says, I like the antique feel of this room, but I have to say goodbye to it today. Um... I decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Uh, Takase-kun's guardians keep increasing their demands, so this is what I have to do. Let me pull that up. I just say, is this what you really want? She says, Takase's guardians say the only true way to apologize is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher anyway. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? I say, if that's what you've decided. She says, I really did decide this on my... No, she said, but did I really decide this on my own? Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still felt the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that even now. Um, I just say, try to remember. She says, that's right. I decided the way to apologize was to make sure there won't be another student like him because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of the rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students, that's the mindset I had. But now I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Takase-kun like this. And I say... Mistakes can be fixed. Kawakami says, I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Takase-kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? I say, be confident in your answer. You're right. She says, you can't get the right answer from someone else. It has to be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Temperance, rank up. All right. She says, I've been so worried about making money, I haven't treated my students well. I averted my eyes because you were labeled just like Takase, but from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I say, I want to protect you as well. She says, that kind of line only works from someone old enough to handle his own household chores. But thanks. I'll speak with the Takase's. I'm not gonna run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Thanks. Alright, it's time for me to go. Good See night. you later. Kawakami says, Master, thanks so much for today. I was supposed to stop working as Becky. To be honest, I always kind of knew in my heart I couldn't go on like this forever. I felt so stuck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I actually figured out what I need to do. I just say, you're welcome. She says, you're a sweet kid. I really haven't, I haven't really recognized all you've done, so thank you, really. Go to bed early tonight. Lack of sleep is basically poison for the body and mind, okay? Good night. Anyways, apparently people are concerned about another psychotic breakdown. Anyways, people on the train are speculating that a criminal was captured. Oh man, who cares? These people are complaining that it's hot and that some mafia boss got captured. And they wonder if it's to do with the Phantom Thieves of Hearts as well. No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junior Kanashiro. And yet he simply turned himself in, even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate? 
manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. Damn it! Now everyone! Sorry about that, I was just grabbing water. Anyways, more quiz time. Give me an answer. Looks like the answer is a triangle. This is it. Kawakami calls us to the guidance office. I think this is where I get that mementos mission Sorry. I need. Kawakami says, Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takase kun's guardians. I told them I'm not going to pay them anymore. I'm quitting my part time job, too, although I'm still in talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher, and no matter what others say, I won't waver. So thanks for giving me that good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Anyway, uh, a female teacher says, Ms. Kawakami, the Takases are here. What? She says they're here at school? Uh, Takase's adoptive dad says something. I don't know. Hold on a sec. Uh, I don't think any of these choices matter. I just say, we're talking here. The lady says, how rude. I guess a student is only as good as the teacher. Obviously, you lack education. The guy says, you thought you could call and say you're not going to pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know. Kawakami says, it's for Takase-kun's sake. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him. The female relative says, you're just trying to get out of your responsibility. I bet you don't even care about Taiki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her student to die would surely cause a scandal. Kawakami says, I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take legal action, go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. I've decided that's the best apology I can make to Takase. Paying money to you two is no solution. The male says, along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your secret, about your little stint as a sex worker. What? Kawakami says, how did you figure that out? The relative says, oh, I'm right, am I? Kawakami says, what? Takase says, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from your salary. Shall we head over to the faculty office? She says, stop. The male says, a teacher in the sex industry, you've definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taiki's matter unsettled. You know what you have to do now, right? Pay up and don't ever call us with this garbage about stopping the payments again. Ugh. She says, I guess I can't quit my job just yet. I say you can't give up. She says, I know, but what am I supposed to do? What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, that's impossible. She says, I can't do this anymore. I say, what are their names? She says, the Takase's? The husband is Toshio and the wife is Hiromi. I can never forget them. I send them money every week. She says, you don't intend on doing something, do you? Please don't. A Shujin teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be dot dot dot. I'm sorry. She says, I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you that I ended up... Ugh. I was so excited to tell you what I decided and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'm right back where I started. Guess I'll never be able to change. Class is about to start. I need to go. Hell yeah! 
Can you just say it? People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there was a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? You mean that we're not the only ones going in and out of other people's palaces, right? Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? A oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too! By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive! Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party! Wow! Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low! <laughs> and that's the spirit! Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So... Oh... What's wrong? Hello? I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, 
I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it! I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though... What is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Ah, you're back. Makoto says this reaction is incredible. Yusuke says it's only natural that people are surprised. <clears throat> Even the police were struggling to catch him. An says, by the way, you said you were called in by the principal. Did something happen? Makoto said it was regarding my investigation of the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Don't worry, I didn't mention a word about any of you. I essentially told him I was unable to find anything. I say, are you going to be okay? She says, I will. I've graduated from my role as the exemplary honor student. From now on, I'm going to be more honest with myself. It's quite a refreshing feeling. Uh, Ryuji says, what are you going to do now? Want to stay with the Phantom Thieves? Makoto says, that's my intention, assuming it doesn't cause any trouble. I just say, welcome aboard. Ryuji says, it would be a big problem if you didn't stick with us. Yusuke says, we should allow her to join us. It's convenient. And in fact, this new teammate of ours is pretty promising. We'll be able to do even more now. Fancy. Hey. <clears throat> Let's see here. I don't think you can go to Mentos at night. <clears throat> Let's... Actually, um... I'm running over my normal time limit on these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call this the end of this broadcast. I am immediately gonna do another one, though. Um, so just give me, like, five minutes and I should be right back.